He power. starts starts charging house smasher dead at 40. Yeah, you get the crazy power and not being able to really cover stage isn't as big of a deal when you've got yes, yes, the cannon. Man bear pig, let's go. When you've got a teammate like Pikachu who can zip around and cover stuff and uh you know, oh, Pikachu's kind of weak, doesn't have a lot of great kill power. Let me just uh, grab the King of Evil to take care of that for me. Hang on, let me, let me just shine his construction boots for a second. Let's so, kill him at 40. It's a button check, we're going into Smashville. Looks like we're going to Smashville. All right. right off the bat, looks like Red Team uh, kind of wants to set up a bit of a defensive game plan. At least uh, that's what it looks like, judging by the opening, which makes sense. Like I said, Ganondorf can work out very well in doubles, but he still does have that problem of terrible mobility and terrible frame data. Oh yeah, he's, he's a fat boy. And yeah, you can see that he's he's literally reaching with flame choke. Literally reaching out and trying to grab people, but... but it, that co that conversion is just a yeah. taste of what the power this team has, but don't do it like that. Yeah, every hit, every hit feels so visceral. It's, it's just like you're just dying after every hit. Yeah, also, uh, Rickles does need to be careful not to get yeah. That, that is a huge, that's the one weakness of Ganon that you really can't alleviate nearly as well in doubles. Especially because a team oh like Oh my this. goodness, that was so smart. He actually did flame choke and faded backwards, but the pickup from Smasher, not gonna matter. A little, little wonky DI, he probably wouldn't have lived it with correct DI, but he's gonna uh, die. I mean, he was really close to the back last time. Wow, that was genius. <laughs> he just mashed up air out of the, out of the, the up, air. up air and uh, took out Ryoku. Ganondorf up air actually extremely quick. I think it's his fastest move. I, I think so too. Oh, oh, he had his double jump. We're good. Yep. Uh, us low tier mains don't just save our jumps. Right Great. Now. Looks like we got two 1v1s developing. Whoa, Ooh. going sky high there, but uh, Rickles manages to live. Ooh. Almost clobbered Mega Man there, but the one pellet in the back wow. there is going to take him out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, Ganondorf, very heavy character, but not really been stock tanking this game. And, you know, you. The other issue is, of course, the combo potential. I was kind of singing Gandor's praises in doubles, but it is really a thing of he still has those huge weaknesses, and your teammate really has to cover for them. I haven't seen too much in the way of synergy between Nero and Rickles, but maybe I've not been looking too hard. I haven't seen it either. They haven't like been throwing to each other. I mean, Nero's haven't gotten really Yeah, they, I don't think he really had a chance to. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, he does make it. Red Team's just been playing really solidly uh, and defensively. So they, I think it's not so much they haven't been working together, just Red Team hasn't really given them a chance to. Uh, I think it's a little calm, a little calm B. I don't think Nero and uh, Miracle's a team yeah. together. Just a thing of unfamiliarity. Oh, oh yeah, nice. That was a spicy spice. Oh my goodness, how many pummels? Ryoku, please mash out. Oh, oh. give him the forward tilt, though. He's, he's got the boot. He got forward tilt and yep. he died. Now, right now, it's even... What's up for Nero? Nero had a very high percent, but aside for that, Still probably anyone's game. Nero probably gonna have to try to keep this stock, but Nero is uh, quite a fan of running away, so never mind. Never mind. He, yeah, he's dead. Man. Oh. Ryoku's yeah. gotten so much damage on Rickles so far this That's game. And, yeah, dude. He got put into a bad spot. I think, man, this team really gives Ganon a hard time, I feel. <laughs> because not only do you have Mega Man zoning him out and just poke him all day, you got Bayonetta just comboing the crap out of him. Yeah, he, he is a big boy. I'm not really looking over at Rickles right now. I'm, look, I'm looking at the game. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's SDIing or not at all. He, it looks uh, yeah, he is. I saw some SDI coming out before where he actually got out of some witch twists, but it's just kind of difficult. Ganon really is combo food. Um, and yeah, I feel bad. Because I just want to see, I just want to see some like up smashes. I want to see stupid Ganon stuff too. Well, I mean, there's your up smash. Wrong character, my friend. <laughs> yeah, Nero, right now looking like a pretty rough 2v1, getting pressured at the ledge. Ryoku just hanging back, Smasher putting up some leaf shields, holding shield, repeating. He's, he's scared of a salad. Oh, got him. Round up up, Smash. Yep. Smash, you just sitting there with a salad going like, hey, I'm here. Watch I laugh and eat my salad. salad. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's a great, I've never heard it called that before. It's, what, the salad? It's the salad, yeah. I mean, it's about it. In terms of power, it's basically one, but yeah. It's healthy for you. But yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I know Rickles has a very strong cloud. We'll see if he goes to that. Um, if th they might stay Ganon. I feel, like I said before, that really, I mean, like Rickles lost four stocks that game, you know? And it was really quick. Yeah. Um, 
And right here we got replay. And right here is, a, I think, a pretty good moment of that where I, I can't remember quite what this was. Spike. Yeah, there's a spike, and then Ryoku getting, or Abner getting the million pummels off. But yeah, he got spiked. He got killed by the, the backer off the side. He got killed by a Bayo combo. Really died fairly. I mean, not. I think he lived until like 90 and pretty much any st every stock, but right. still, you know. He, he lived to high percents, but he didn't live long. He didn't, yes. Which that's, is the problem. That's a good way of putting it. That's a very good way of putting it. He lived far, but not long. There yeah. you go. Is that a good way to put it? I'm not yeah. sure. Well, I think I think the first one was, you know, very apt. He lived to high percents, but that's just because he got comboed up the wazoo. Mm -hmm. um, they couldn't get the kill until very late. Yeah, um, you know, one of the big pluses of uh, playing Gandor in this environment is those uh, meaty rage kills. But again, we didn't, we just didn't see it because Red Team, right at the start of the match, I feel a good summarization of what their plan was, was they both started firing projectiles. Yeah, they're like, hey, Ganon, go away. <laughs> Please leave us alone. Please, we don't want to die. Please leave us alone. Please put away your construction boots for five seconds. So we'll see. I hear some character uh, movement on the selection screen, and there's the cloud. Um, yeah. The, the problem is, both Ryoku and Smasher are very well versed yeah. in this matchup. But so. still, I feel like, you know, it, it's got to go better than how the Ganon one, I feel. You never know. They're also switching the color of their green team now. Not sure why, but I like it. I like uh, seeing some green team. I remember Smasher sma uh, saying earlier that he wants Clouds to go green team so he can tell who has women. Oh, okay, fair enough, That's fair it. enough. That's anyway, all. Anyway, we're going to town here. Right away, Rickles hanging back to charge limit. He, oh. oh, no. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he had his double jump. We're okay. good. I thought he didn't have a jump. I was like, yeah. I, I, I felt my heart stop for a that second. That could have been dicey, but I mean, right there is a good example where even though Cloud doesn't have the best recovery either, he's still, it's still probably better than Ganondorf's. There we go. Right now we've got two 1v1s developing. They both, the green team kind of recombines and goes out again. Oh, down smash at the ledge. My your, favorite. Your, your favorite. I was just about to say your favorite. <laughs> okay. It's frame eight. Who cares? Why not? Right now, things fairly even. Red team a bit higher percent. Like you never know at this rate. Ooh. Oh, this is. Ooh, got him. It was. A, it was a very low throw. Yeah. Was, was that dash attack? Yes, that was dash attack. I'm Pico's sorry. Dash attack is remarkably strong, actually, especially on town and city on a light character like Bayo. It's fairly strong. A lot of dash attacks are because they have a lot of base knockback. I'm not sure if Ryoku was charging a smash attack or not. That would have also helped, but... Uh, yeah, Red Team doing much better than Game 1. Mm -hmm. They're just... Whoop. Oh, uh, that's, that was an accident. That was probably... He tried to but... cancel the... Oh! I'm sorry? Goodbye. Yep. Uh, tried to land with a forward air. Tried to get some hits in on the Red Team. Uh, unfortunately, he hit Pika, and then Smasher just gives him the up tilt. Yeah, he, he hit him on the chin real good. And... Uh, that, that, that was actually a really good uh, conversion from Smasher because that really cut the green team's lead a bit down to size because they could have they could have potentially ran away with it a bit. Right now, still green team lead. Uh, Ryoko kind of misses the conversion off the up throw. Uh, but let's see what he'll get out of this nice SDI down. I think he was probably looking for the air dodge. Back throw, finishing touch. There you go. Yeah, and that's the... Like I said, they... While they need to charge for the crazy kill power this time, it's still something where you have a character much more mobile, with much better frame data, and much better hitboxes throwing it out. And, and I think that's the key here. And a tiny bit better recovery. It's easier to save. Yeah. And it's really been working out well here, but... Let's see. 2v1 on Ryoku. Oh, he, he dive kicks out, gets hit by the Nair, but at least he's not being sandwiched. I've noticed Rickles has been SDIing up and down. In? Uh, he's doing a pretty good job mixing it up. Like, uh, he's SDI down a few times, which is usually what you want to do with Cloud. Oh, that good uh, conversion there from Ryoku going to take it. But yeah, it, it's really about mixing it up, because Bayo usually has an option to catch you if she reads it. Uh, sometimes she can't, but... It's about being smart. Roll behind down, smash out the ledge. Rickles understands the, uh, the, the techniques. He understands the frame 8 down smash. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's a bit less silly in doubles just because there's a lot more stuff going on, and so you can't get punished nearly as hard and also catch options, but right there, the up smash going to take it out. And right now, green team got a pretty solid lead. I think it's really uh, a lot of how Ryoku's going to play because he's got the rage, and he's got Bayo, and he really wants to live so he can keep both of those things. 
<laughs> He's down to his last stock. Yeah. Oh. Yoku, I think the key here, if they want to really make this win, I mean, they could also just play really solidly and just win, you know, through a standard means, but Bayo is also an option. And, oh, Ooh. speaking of, good damage there. Yeah, and look, Ryoku's at 156. I noticed a lot of Smash just like staying yeah, out of Smash is gonna take it. Staying out of range of everything. Ooh, nope. a little early there. I don't know if that would have connected either way. So maybe not, not sure. Mega Man's a pretty decent character for the 2v1. He's really good at kind of uh, being able to take on multiple things. He can put out some fairly non-committal moves with like uh, pellets and uh, the metal blade and cover multiple things. You can see him jumping around a lot, it'd be hard to hit. Like right now, he's like mm -hmm. They're not really doing anything to him. He's yeah, kinda... and people in 2v1s tend to play more conservatively just because, you know, they want to keep their advantage and not hit their teammates. So sometimes uh, you can use that against people, though, by just kind of jumping around and racking up some little damage. But there that's going to do it. That's the conversion. And he kills Nero as well as all of us should. Get, get I didn't of, say that. Get rid of the rad. Anyway, so... Yeah, the cloud worked out much better there. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't see Rickles just get deleted. Yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't see Rickles die. Yep. Not, like, sure, he lost Ox, but he didn't just die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he also got, you know, he got finishing touch kills. He got combos. He just, he just, he just played, he just was more effective with Cloud than he was with Ganondorf. Yep. So we'll see where, what stage uh, Red Team counterpicks to. I would say Lilat, but I realize there's a Pikachu on there, so probably not Lilat. FD makes sense. Both um, the Red Team's characters, pretty good at controlling space. Probably just want to keep Cloud away in general. Like that. Yeah, and you can see them. They're just they're playing defensive here. Yeah, Lamins. They want to just force uh, a situation where they can kind of both throw out stuff in neutral, and FD is like all neutral. Okay, that was a little crazy from Nero, but it worked out. It got him out of the bad situation, kind of. Cloud there. Pretty good. It's a good, it's a good move. Right now. Ryoku off stage. Oh, but he's going to get that pick up there. Not quite going to be able to finish the combo. Oh, that's actually something else I realized. Uh, I didn't realize before about Bayo and com in doubles, though. But if you get, like... Oh, goodbye. But if you get, like, nicked by a move on the way down, then you don't have the, the landing lag. Yep. So, like, Ryoku got hit by, like, the one hit of uh, the up air from Mega Man, and he didn't have to eat, like, a forward smash. Right. Right there, we see green team pulling ahead from that uh, KO early on Ryoku. I, I didn't think that finishing touch would actually hit because he let it rip a bit early. Yeah. But he got a big hitbox. Ooh. Oh, I think the Bayo up smash clanked with some Pika move. I saw the bubble, but I couldn't tell because Pika was literally completely covered by the giant fist. And here comes the giant fist. Well, the, everybody at high percent, actually. These are the real kind of moments that can really decide doubles games because it's who's going to take the stock Ooh. right there. That was a nice Smasher save. After breaking it up. That was a nice save. I don't know if he needed the finishing touch. I think up smash would have done it, but the down smash is going to take out both of them. Your favorite meme. Ooh. Down smash clanks with the pummel, so it's not going to be able to scoop Ryoku out of the grab. But right now, green team got a stock advantage. Both Cloud and Bayo are at pretty high percents, but Bayo's under sell. Oh, oh no. the dare saves her. The late hit there. I'm almost, what... I'm almost positive that Rickles didn't think that, that lightning oh, yeah, would connect. No, that, that Thunder definitely would have KO'd. Ryoku, let's see if he can make anything out of this stock. Very high percent. Looks like he was trying to get the, the edge guard there on Rickles. But that dash attack going to close it out. This, this is Skull Bash. Skull Bash light. Yeah. Now Rickles is the one at high percent with the rage and the hot kill potential. I mean, isn't that Cloud in general is kill potential? Yeah, but the, the rage makes it uh, even more interesting. Also, it does make down smash with, though. So there's that. He's gotten like three or down smashes at the ledge so far, but he's gonna eat the back air and lose his stock. You must be proud. <laughs> a little bit. I'm more proud he's using FF7 Cloud, though. <laughs> FF7, FF, he's, FF7 Cloud's good. I'll admit. I like Kingdom Hearts Cloud better, but... Uh, cross dress Cloud win. Either way. <laughs> oh, right now, red oh, team, God. not in a great situation. 
definitely far from uh, over, but definitely at a solid disadvantage. I, I think I'm going to have to look to bully Cloud some more. Okay, Cloud at a very low percent. The up air going to take off Nero, though. He just, he just died. Yep. All right now, stocks are even, but green team definitely has a percent lead. Right now, both of them grouped up. Green team approaching in. They took a lot of stage control, and now red's trying to fight their way out of the corner. Looks like they're doing a fine job of it, though. I see a lot of Smasher putting up a wall and Ryoko doing a whole lot of nothing. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's a bit harder for Bayo because you do have like um, a projectile with not one projectile with knockback, and it's only one angle. While Mega Man's got like a lot of angles he can cover with the knockback or with the projectiles. I feel like it's more Smasher's trying to put out some pressure from long range, and then he's looking for Ryoku to convert into a combo. But speaking of conversions, there that was good. nice. Up smash. Uh, I like that blade beam. It was an interesting read. Would have would have paid off if he got it, and if not, eh. if Ryoko jumped just a bit early, he would have got yeah. no stop. I wouldn't expected him to run off stage first. No. Of but... Right now, ooh, good air dodge read. Oh, but he SDs, and that's oh. such a heartbreaker for Red Team. He was a little low. I'm surprised. I didn't know uh, that FD's blast zone was that high up on the bottom, but. Right now, it's the 1v1, Ryoku versus Rickles, Cloud versus Bayo. Rage Bayo, no, nonetheless. Right, but this is this is still rough. Cloud's a pretty solid matchup for Bayo, and this is a stage that's really nice for Cloud in this matchup. And he's got a big percent lead, so it's going to really be a clutch play for Ryoku here to pull this out. Oh, you can see Rickles just jumping around. He doesn't want to be in a situation where he can potentially get taken off the top. Oh, you oh saw the sparks. Goodness. That was the single hit. Uh, up B. Oh, and Ryoku stands up. He knows. He knows that victory was so close within his grasp. But I don't, it was not to be. I don't even think he could have hit, hit that up air. Yeah, I don't. Ah, oh, man. I'm surprised because usually the, the single hit up, up B is.